A while back, I released a video about the Alan Jackson song, Mercury Blues. And ever since then, I've wanted to do a video about the sound that Brent Mason was using and actually something that became very common as a sound that people used on sessions. So specifically, I'm going to be focusing on the pedal board. Now, the typical sound in the 90s was probably a Fender guitar that would have been Brent Mason or John Jorgensen playing Telecasters or Dan Huff playing a Stratocaster. Either one works very well for the traditional country sound. But also I'm playing a, a tube amp, so that's going to change the response a little bit. By 1990, session guitar players were commonly using tube amps, from what I understand. So the pedals that you're going to want are a compressor, a distortion or overdrive, and a reverb. I believe those are basically essential. The reverb could be on board on your amp, but I have it where it's an effects pedal. And another extra effect that I think you're really going to want that was really common in that era is a chorus. I'll just quickly go through the setup that I'm using. So to start out with, I have an MXR Dynacomp. That is the script logo version of it. And I like simplicity when it comes to pedals. So the two knob design really fits me well. Some people like other types of compressors, like say a Ross clone, because it doesn't color the sound as much. For me, just my preference, I think that's the whole point, is the color of the sound. So I really like the Dynacomp and the sound that it adds. And the other pedal that's going to be used today to boost the sound is going to be a Boss DS1 Distortion. This is an unmodified version, and I have the distortion control turned almost all the way down. I just don't feel that the high gain sound really fits country music, but it is a pretty fair sounding distortion pedal. So that's what I have in my setup for playing country solos. The Cathedral Reverb, I usually set it to fit the room. So if it's a room that doesn't have a lot of sound treatment, I won't have it on very much at all. But most rooms now, they have a little bit of sound treatment. so. I'll have that just to make the sound a little bigger. And a true effects pedal that I really like to have playing this country style is a chorus. So today I'm using a Boss Super Chorus CH1. So the other pedals I'm not using today, I guess uh, the Tube Screamer, the way I have it set, it's probably too loud to be used with the compressor because the compressor adds a little bit of volume. And maybe I'll go through just the settings a little bit. On the Dynacomp you can usually get within bounds at about 11 or 12 o'clock on both of the controls. Just something to keep in mind, but it has to be something that fits your sound. I also wanted to mention a pedal that is not on my setup today, but I put batteries in it a few days ago and I was just blown away by the sound. So I believe this is definitely going back on the pedal board. I'm using a Boss CH1 Super Chorus right now. And there was a specific sound that I was looking for. That pedal, you can dial back the effect. so. That was why I had it. I could make it very subtle if I wanted to, but just the small clone from Electro Harmonic sounded so good that I think it's going back on the pedal board. So to start out with, I'm going to play through a dry signal. <laughs> punch to play a solo but you do have to start out with a good sounding dry signal but the pedal that you probably are going to have on quite a bit is the compressor pedal so I'll just play that same line with that And I 
like to have some reverb because the compressor by itself can sound a little bit sterile but sometimes that's what you want usually the sound I like there's just a little bit of reverb on it now so I'll play that same line with that <laughs> DS1 and jump into the solo. critical ear. Try to listen to it in a new way because I think you'll find that there's a chorus on there and it's fairly prominent. So I'll just switch that on and it's pretty much the entirety of the song. <laughs> on the Telecaster is not off limits. Uh, maybe I'll play a little Desert Rose Band. I'll use all the same effects, all four of them. <laughs> guitar players of the 80s and 90s as well. So those are four pedals that I think you're going to want in your arsenal for playing country music and it's a sound that's still relevant today. Brad Paisley built a lot of his sound on Brent Mason and uh, you have Keith Urban also that has that kind of classic 90s sound that he still carries on today. You listen to songs like Drink In My Hand by Eric Church, that's a very compressed 90s sound. It's very relevant today and I think you're going to want those tools in your toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> 